Hey everyone, I just want to say thank you so much for reaching out to me and requesting this tutorial. I went ahead and put together uh, a tutorial on how I created the letter portrait. So if you're ready, then let's go ahead and get started. All right, in order to get started, first we're going to do is we're going to select a letter frame. I chose the letter O today. It is a free image. And then I also chose this image here, which is a tiger. It is also a free image. I feel like the ones that have like color in the background seem to work better. We're going to duplicate that image. I, I did it ahead of time just to save time. And then next what we're going to do is we are going to take the first image and we are going to remove the background. For free users, you can use you can go to remove.pg. I'm going to put that image to the side and then I'm going to take the original image and I'm going to place it inside of the letter frame. And then next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the image and I am going to reposition it to where the head of the tiger is sticking out of the frame. Just a tad. And then once I have it in position, I am going to lock the frame or the the frame to the screen. That way it keeps it from moving and also it allows the um, transparent Im image not to go into the frame. So I'm going to um, decrease the transparency on the one image and I'm going to align it with the image that's inside of the frame. This might take a little take a little bit of time but once you get it and you might not get it the first time I have to readjust it later but that looks pretty good. So then I'm going to take increase the transparency back up to 100 and then I'm going to crop the image. That way the letter can be seen. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock the frame from the page. And then I'm going to group the two images together. Oops, I'm sorry, wait a minute, it didn't group. Let me try, let me try this again. Let me realign it and then group them back together. All right, there we go. So there we, there we go, it's their group. So this is pretty much it. You can stop right here if you'd like. It's pretty much done, but I always take, I wanna take it a little step further. I like to add a little bit of shadow behind mine. So I'm going to download the image to my computer. I'm gonna set, the, uh, save it as a PNG file with a transparent background. So once this downloads onto my computer, I am going to upload it back into Canva as an image. Okay, and once it has been, um, once it uploads, I've created another page just so you can see uh, the shadow. We're gonna go ahead and move that image over. And I'm going to just going to crop it down just a bit so I because I'm going to make it a little bit larger just so you can see the shadow for this tutorial. Okay, then we're going to adjust the size and then I'm going to go over and I'm going to edit the image. So I'm going to select shadow and I'm going to select glow. In the middle you're going to see three of the adjustment bars. So you take those adjustment controls and then you're going to take the uh, transparency up to 100 and blur up to 20 if you like that you can adjust it and then you just hit supply and this will create the shadow that you see behind the image and that's pretty much it we're done <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thanks so much for, for requesting it so go out now and just enjoy Canva and thanks so much for watching have a great day